Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Lex, and today we're gonna be doing a baddie transformation. So first, we have some stops to make. I need to go to the beauty supply store to get the hair so I can make my wig tonight. Um, I need to go to Walgreens and Walmart. I wanna see what fake nails they have. Also, the beauty supply store has fake nails too. Um, and then I also need to go to Rainbow. I have a baddie thrift haul coming up like literally the next video but I just want to save all those items for the haul and rainbows is in the area and they are a place that you can find hidden gems all the time so I'm going to stop by there to see what I can find in there to make my baddie outfit so yeah let's go all right you guys so our first stop I think should be um the beauty supply store aka hair world I feel like people in Nashville call it hair world so we're gonna go to Howard first to see what goodies we can find in there. This right here, you guys. 27 and we got a music playing. Tell me something more. This one's 30. Let me get this. This seems bad. Okay, so here is the nails bath. Walgreens bath. Super cute. Found some cute ones at the beauty supply store. Ooh, those are really cute. These two. Hmm. Okay. Like in the white. You have options. This is my favorite. Like when I'm going for a clean classic look, I always gravitate towards these. Those are cute too. All right, you guys. So we are leaving Walgreens and we have ran all our errands. When I get home, I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I got and prepare for the transformation. Okay, so these are the nail goodies I picked up. These came from the beauty supply store and the rest of these came from Walgreens. So I have some really super cute options. I'm leaning towards these right here. And some all white because you know baddies and all white it's just a thing and then also this cute name necklace so yes I think I'm gonna put on these for sure okay now let me show you guys what I picked up from rainbows all right so I picked up three tops from rainbows this is what the first one looks like so this is what the first top looks like that I pick up from rainbows and the second one this one was five dollars the second one I picked up is basically the same thing but striped and this one was three dollars I have a white one like this one already and I loved it so I'm gonna pick this up so this was on stuff three dollars and then I picked up a striped mock neck that has a knot in the front and that's what this one looks like and this one was three dollars too I feel like this is gonna be really good for spring so yeah and then I picked me up some baddie earrings you know so look at these earrings you guys super freaking cute I even love the small hoops and this was $5.99 so I got nine pair of earrings for six dollars these detail hoops they're gonna be super trending y'all well they already are honestly so yeah okay good morning you guys so the first step today we're turning ourselves into a baddie today is putting on a mask and I'm gonna be using a glam glow mask the thirsty mud hydrating mask because it's winter time and right before you put on makeup you want your skin to be nice and hydrated I would not do a detox mask right before putting on your makeup because then your bumps are going to start to come through. Oh, can you tell I just woke up? I just hopped out the shower. I washed my hair and deep conditioned it this morning. And this is one of those masks you can rub in. You can rinse the excess off and then just use the rest to moisturize your skin. All right, so while this mask is sitting, let me guys show you the finished product of the wig that I made. 
So I just hot glue gunned those bundles onto a dome cap and I sewn down the actual closure. And this is what it looks like. So they give you a pretty good amount of parting, but you like can't like repart it. That's like all you get right there is that straight part. So this unit basically cost $30 to make. And I did some layering last night um, and I flat ironed some of it and thinned it out. But I'm gonna do like the majority of the styling on camera, so yeah. Okay, I'm back. So I finished my skincare routine off camera and I went ahead and laid my hair and instead of flat twisting it, I've been seeing a lot of girls just literally gel their hair down like they're doing a low bun. So I did that method and it is so freaking flat. So let's go ahead and plop this baby on. Oh, I sewn down an elastic band, but not at the perimeter where the back of the closure is to lay that part down flat. The front of it lays down flat with a band. Okay, side part going on. This is a lot of hair, you guys. All right, guys, so last night I took a spray bottle with some water and I spritzed the top part, like right here, and I took my curling wand and I did it on lower setting. I think this hair, I threw the packaging away already to clean up my room. I think it can't go over 450 or 400 degrees. So lowered the setting on the curling wand and I just, you know, pressed that baby down like that. Okay, I zoomed it out so you guys can see more of the length of the hair. Super freaking long. I'm 5'10", so if it's this long on me, sis, it's gonna be extremely long on you. All right. So next I'm about to take this razor, it's like a thinner or cutter, and just thin out the bundles so it could look a little bit more natural. And I didn't show myself making the wig because I feel like it's so many videos on YouTube, great videos showing you guys how to make or hot glue gun a wig I can link some in my description box it's super easy you can honestly do it in under an hour go ahead and straighten this up. Okay, I think I have the hair to the density that I want it at. I like the way this looks, this nice, natural, yakky texture. I wanna cut some layers into it now. If you're gonna make a synthetic wig, I definitely suggest getting the yakky textures because they look just so much more natural. Okay, I think I'm pleased with the layers and density. This looks really good, right? I like the way it looks. Okay, guys, so I changed tops. Well, I put on a t-shirt instead of having that robe on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and here the wig. Well, really just the lace part. Let's flip it back. I'm using the got to be glued free spray. And I'm gonna do my nails after I do my makeup because everybody knows that it's so much easier to do your makeup 
with short nails than long nails. It just is, just the way it works. All right, so let's get started on this baddie makeup. Um, I feel like baddie makeup is honestly just a nice beat face, whether your preference be dewy or more matte, it just needs to be beat. Lashes need to be popping, and then your lips, they need to be popping, whether you go with the matte way, but more lately, baddies, we've been leaning towards, you know, glossy lips. So yes, that's what we'll create today. I went ahead and just cleaned up my brows with Fawn. Oh, let me show you guys the pencil I used. I have a pencil. All the products that I'm using are affordable. Most likely they're all from the drugstore. I'm using the e.l.f. brow pencil and it is in the shade natural brown. It has like a spoolie at the top. I really like it. And I use the LA Girl concealer in the shade Fawn to clean up. And I honestly feel like everybody knows about the LA Girl concealer. Like you've had to play with it. I also brushed uh, the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso on there as well. All right, you guys, so we're just gonna hop right into the eyes. We're not gonna do like no crazy eye look because we just need lashes, honestly, to be a baddie. So I'm gonna use the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance, the medium to dark one. And I'm also gonna use the City Mini Palette by Makeup Shayla and Maybelline. If you wanted to pop more for the shimmer shades, just spray your brush with a little water. Sis. Lashes are on, so we're gonna move into my face makeup. Now, everybody on a budget definitely needs her essential drugstore face products. So, if I'm doing like a full glam or if I'm doing more like a beat look, definitely going for the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Another good one is L'Oreal True Match uh, Foundation. I'm gonna use this one to contour with. Honestly, any one of the Maybelline concealers, they have like three or four different kinds. All of them are good, all of them. LA Girl Pro Conceal is also a good one. And then L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powders is a really good face powder too. And I'll be using the Sonia Kashuk uh, Beauty Sponge. So yes. along. I'm 
gonna set it using CoverGirl's translucent powder. I'm going to take the Black Radiance Contour Palette and bounce in between the contour and sculpt colors to contour with. Just setting the rest of my face now. can definitely use the highlighter in the contour palette uh, by Black Radiance but I think Maybelline has some of the best drugstore highlighters so I am going to use their Molten Topaz and Molten Gold shades. Um, I'm going to put on Molten Topaz first. Molten gold, and I'm going to put a uh, molten gold. I'm going to set my face before doing my lips and putting on some mascara, but after that, my face will be done. Use Mario Badescu's facial spray, the rose water one, and this costs like five dollars at Ulta. Now I'm just gonna wipe off all that excess makeup on my lips. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna outline my lips with my Holy Grail. If you're like my skin tone and you want a nice baddie look with like a deeper brown liner, use NYX Espresso Liner in the shade 820. Look how small this pencil is. I'm like determined to use all of it instead of wasting before I open up my new one. So yes. Next, I'm going to use NYX Lip Liner in 831, the shade Mauve, and I'm going to fill in my lips. Now, you can definitely leave your lip like this, but I've been feeling a gloss, so I'm going to use two different glosses. Both NYX, all my lip products are NYX products. I just love NYX lip products. I'm gonna be using the Butter Gloss in the shade, uh, what is this one, is it Angel? It's Tiramisu, and I'm also gonna be using a NYX Pump It Up Lip Bumper in the shade Jessica. Hey Jessica. So I have the nails out and laid out my pinkies and two of my thumbs. Um, I went ahead and just took a fouling board, what is this called? Fouling board? And I fouled my nails just to give them like a rough texture before I go ahead and glue these on. I feel like this step is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just using the glue that they gave me. And yeah, I'm about to glue these bad boys on. Okay, you guys, so my nails are done. The claws are looking good. Super cute. So, you know, now I can use my hands a lot, like how baddies do when our nails are done. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this top already, but I got this uh, ruched little top off the shoulders um top from rainbows for three dollars so definitely make sure you check out rainbows because they'll have like 
tops like this that you'll see at Urban Outfitters, PacSun, H&M, Forever 21. I think Urban Outfitters, I've seen one. It was like a rose colored one. I'll put it up if they still have it. And it was like going for like over $30, the original price. And I got this one for $3. I'm going to wear these layered necklaces that I got from Walmart for $5. And it just has Gemini on it. And then with the Gemini Zodiac sign right there. So that'd be super cute. And then for hoops, I think I'm going to wear these detailed ones here at the end. I think that would be super cute. And these came from Rainbows. And this whole pack with nine earrings in it total was only $6. All right, you guys, so here is the final baddie look. I absolutely love it. Okay, I switched earrings. I didn't put on the detailed ones. I put on the more simple ones. Um, necklaces on, hair laid, the outfit. I have on the crop top, and then I put on a midi, well, it's honestly a bodycon strapless dress that I basically just turned into a midaxi, a mid maxi, basically all black so I'm gonna step back and let you guys see that and I'm gonna wear some sock booties to go with this look but yes so I basically just transformed myself into a baddie for under what $200 for sure under $200 and the title will be the exact amount. So if you feel like treating yourself, amping yourself up, giving yourself a little glow up, definitely know that you do not need thousands and thousands of dollars to give yourself a little makeover. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be a baddie thrift haul. So stay tuned. Bye.